Did Wayne Marshall really deserve the order of distinction? That has been the talk of several days. I have my views, you know. Uno might agree, I don't agree, but regardless, uno here to watch the video, so listen to what I have to say. Choo choo choo! <laughs> I have received the order of distinction officer class. Welcome to the Dutty Bear Show YouTube channel, home of the best pop culture reviews to keep you entertained and informed. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we are discussing Wayne Marshall's OD. Now, on Heroes Monday, he received the National Order of Distinction for a contribution to dancehall slash reggae and the nation's music. Now, <laughs> before me even jump on to what people in the public have been saying he took to instagram and this was his comment after making the post he said this award is for my family who have supported me throughout the years every producer supporter fellow art artist etc um thank you all yes very grateful extremely honored um who would have thought that a dance hall artist coming into the business 24 years ago would be on the lands of of king's house now receiving such a prestigious award and it's just no when wayne received that award i do not think people but i must say this i don't think wayne realized what was going to happen next because soon after another of course he was getting the love especially from the mtm family then people started to appear out of nowhere uh alleging that Wayne Marshall only got this award because of his political leaning and many others felt that he didn't have enough body of work for him to, you know, get such a prestigious type of recognition. No, I'm just like, ja, ja, ja. No, let me not say ja, ja, ja. Let me say, whoa, 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 whoa. No, Wayne Marshall has been in the industry for about 20 years. He has several uh, hit songs. But just in case you're not really familiar with him catalog, let me just give you a little, you know, synopsis. <laughs> The clubs demand the party sing. I just move good old wife. I just move good old wife. Lord, I pray. Yeah, and so, yeah. So that is the brothers' catalog. So ultimately, I'm just like, all right then, but I do understand some of the concerns especially when people talked about the the, the issue of beanie man and bounty killer not getting a national award right there and then i'm just like well hmm red flag mm. because on paper it would kind of make sense that beanie man bounty killer get an award like that before a wayne marshall because you know what them are like the king in the field and you know what I say? You know what I say? So I, I decided to just do some research and understand what exactly did Wayne Marshall walk away with. I think we should have that conversation. So Wayne Marshall received the Order of Distinction. Now, if you do not know what the Order of Distinction is, let me just go and give you the information because I realize that a lot of y'all do not know about the National Honors and all of these things. <laughs> Now, what is the Order of Distinction, right? So, according to the Office of the Prime Minister's website, the Order of Distinction has two ranks, namely Commander and Officer. The Order may be conferred upon any citizen of Jamaica who renders outstanding and important services to Jamaica and upon any distinguished citizen of a country other than Jamaica. So, they will get the honorary, you know, OD. You have two classes. In the order of distinction, you have commander and you have officer. Wayne Marshall was awarded as an officer, right? This as at the, at the lower level of the OD. Zine? Just like how you have, you know, you have first class and as I have second and lower class and you know, you know what I mean? I say? Uh -huh. So the order of distinction is the not the first, not the second, not the third, not the fourth, the fifth 
highest honor. And that is what Wayne Marshall got as well as Taurus Riley. Now in that same uh, pool, Master Griffiths, of course, she got promoted before I think she had the, o the OD and then now she got promoted to OJ, um, which is the fourth highest honor the order of Jamaica. Now for some reason I feel like I just need to go and give you some information from all of the honors them from number one to number five so you can really understand okay. Can I get a wow? So I gave you the order of distinction already right so let me go and give you number four which is the order of Jamaica. Now the order of Jamaica OJ may be conferred upon any Jamaican citizen of outstanding distinction now, out of Jamaica is what Usain Bolt get him. They get um, something before that. I think it was the OD and then him get promoted up to the OJ. Then you make your way to OM, O-M, the Order of Merit. And this may be conferred upon any citizen of Jamaica or distinguished citizen of a country other than Jamaica, an honorary member, who has achieved eminent international distinction in the field of science, the arts, literature, or any other endeavor. It is not conferred upon more than two persons in any one year. You hear that? This is number three. three with it. Then you have the order of the nation with a number two. Now, this may be conferred upon any governor general of Jamaica and upon any person who has been appointed as prime minister of Jamaica. The order is styled the most honorable. So you have the most Honorable Patrick Allen, the most honorable. Why am I can't remember the Kenneth Hall, the most honorable. What the one with name? The long time one man, Jesus Christ, the old man there, Jesus Christ, my name. Florigel Glasspool. No, sir, this look bad. Jesus Christ, Barry, come on now. Shame I killed me. Come, could come back school challenge quiz. <laughs> You have something called Order of Excellence. Now, it has the same second spot as the Order of the Nation. Now, this is ranked equally in the Order of Precedence with the honor of the Order of the Nation and may be conferred upon any foreign head or of state or foreign head of government. And then, many of you forgot to the number one. Number one is when you become a national hero. National hero. When you see yourself for money and them look at something there, you're a national hero. So now you might be wondering, why did I go through all of this? What may I try to show you is that Wayne Marshall, he got the entry level award for his contribution to the space, right? To the music, okay? Uno might be wondering, like, even of the songs, he's had songs he's dedicated over 20 years to the industry. Now, back to the point of how come some other people don't get. No, you actually have to be nominated. Somebody have to nominate you. You have to be nominated. And this is a nomination form, and we went got right through it. Because we love to talk about information while, while we are doing like arguing and reasoning. We're very information based around here. This is what we're going to do, right? This is the um, the nomination form, right? So them ask for your name, your first name, all of them something, the date of birth, nationality, home address, telephone number, occupation, them look something there, award for which you are nominating the candidates. You have the different category them with the order of the OM, OJ, all of these different things. That is listed right there. So previous national honors because some people them get upgraded and all of these things. Citation for award. Cite um, critical national service for contribution. So, you have to go list the people, them experiences, and all the things that them do. Um, then, this is the part. No, what we think is enough artists and certain people get kicked away. Can this a little problem part? It says, Declaration of integrity of candidate to nominate a certain knowledge. Note briefly, criminal convictions prevent eligibility. What that mean? Vibes cartel. Mm -mm. Him now go see none of them award him just because of that. Him can't see it. And a couple of the artists where I've running with the land, them look at something of them can't see it. That's how we may try to get to the focus system. You can't get focus seat right here. So now, because it was set up very different for them people there. That kick we must have holy for the top dance all artists them. But now we're back to being the man. Bean Man for a long time now, um, he has actually been calling for Bean Man said no one no no order of distinction, him no one the entry level uh, <laughs> officer class. He wants the order of Jamaica. And so the question is no Bean Man was he nominated? And if he has been nominated, why him no him not get it? <laughs> Oh, 
why him not get it now? Because these are other things like above my pay grade and these type of things like the king of dance hall. Come on now. Um, but let me just start now. What I've understood of, for a lot of these awards, they do also have some sort of moral um, component to it. And what we're forgetting is that this particular set of honors, they're looking for a distinguished type of person, a distinguishable character, somebody who upholds the values and the morals and all of these things and the good ethics of the society, of the country. Um, somebody who has been like a standard of what it is to be a true Jamaican, somebody that really embodies all of the good values that Jamaica would want to portray to the wider society and all kind of things. This is also a part of the unsaid um, thing that comes along with, of course, being somebody who contributes to your respective field. That is a part of the conversation that I think a lot of people are unaware of. You know, you have certain type of awards that, of course, is that, but it's a certain type of character that is a part of the equation of getting something like this. And so, yes, of course, the fact that Wayne Marshall would have definitely positioned himself to be um, an upstanding citizen, somebody who represents the Jamaican male and a good Jamaican artist. You look on the Taurus Riley, a, same, a similar type of embodiment. Um, I think in, in the recent years, Agent Sasko, somebody who would have transitioned and moved his career from the assassin into the family man, into a positive type of person, giving back to society, you know, all of these type of things. Though that type of standing in society, it does play a role. And it is also a part of the equation. So you might not see certain people in a puff of pink wall and certain people in a ban baga 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 F level right and they might not be the type of person to walk away with an award. And so, did Wayne Marshall deserve this honor? I am going to say, yes, he did. You see, if I could understand that he could get the OM, or he could get National E, or I could understand him and jump in, but this is, the, <laughs> this is the entry level pose. He did deserve it, right? The other questions now as to why other persons ha haven't received it. The question, once again, them have a criminal past. Did they, do they also reflect and embody the type of upstanding um, image that this award wants to, to kind of um, associate with? Do they have and capture that persona? Is that a part of their brand that kind of holds some type of imagery? You get me? That is, I think, what this award is trying to position himself to be but that is lost on a lot of jamaicans because because we have so many so few awards i think when you do have an award now people feel like every award is supposed to be for everything and for every purpose but that's just not the case you get me the same way how if they might have a popular vote competition Wayne marshall might not necessarily get that for a different type of thing but he might get it here that is just the purpose of these awards. They kind of honor for different reasons. They have a different set of criteria. And um, I just feel like that upstanding type of thing is the little quiet rule that's also a part of uh, um, the decision making in choosing who gets it year by year. But I'm not going to discredit and discount the fact that it might have a little political part to it because just like with any award show, for the Oscars, there's a certain game that you play. You go into the rooms, you meet the people them, you smile. If you're in a Miss World something there, there's a certain game that you also play as well to definitely show people that you are a different type of brand and you are working the room and basically showing yourself in a different light. It does play a role in how people see you and, and um, decide to honor you in these type of spaces and functions, okay? Shelly and Fraser Price, she got the Order of Jamaica, I think the year before last, um, you know, Commander Class for Outstanding Performance in Track and Field. Um, before that, she did have Order of Distinction. Um, Shirley Ralph last year, she got the Order of Jamaica. Agent Sasko got the, the OD as well, Rank of Officer. I love it. And so that is basically my two cents. I do believe that this award, Wayne Marshall deserved it. I think he has, um, based on the criteria for this type of um, award, of course he does deserve it, but I also think that there are other artists who are deserving. But sometimes um, for these award show, if you don't know, the type of things that we need for God to for, for be a part of it and how to work the room and these type of things, you're just not going to be a part of that conversation, right? 
And I'll just like also add this that some time ago I did get the Prime Minister Youth Award for Excellence, of course. Now before that, no other YouTube and a content creator, them never have no, them, there was no space for people like them for, 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 for me to really fit in. No, luckily I was able to, 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 to get that award, but I was nominated in the same category with coffee. Because it's like when you're the, the, the trailblazer in your field, sometimes people don't know really how to position you. I got through. Me never know about, me never know so me could have qualified this award. It was this woman who worked in one of the ministry them, and she said in my nomination, she was the person who nominated me. I'm an only fan out say, oh, me get nominated. I mean, I said, wait, what? I didn't even know someone could have qualified for that award. That did last for me. All me I see it a year time, I think say uh, only bright people were going to Harvard and certain things. Are, and or if you yo, yo, Bob Marley, or only them, them little young people they would have get Prime Minister Youth Award. I wouldn't think a YouTuber could have get it. But it's when the people them who know jump in and say, hey, you do want this if you, if you are desirous of this sort of award, then you have to start to rebrand yourself, position yourself differently. You have to be mindful of your whole criminal past. How you portray yourself, all of these things, it does play a role if this specific award is something that you are interested in acquiring. If not, do your thing and YOLO and just do anything where you want to do and live your modest life. But just know say, this specific award, it, 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 it have its criteria, right? <laughs> okay, well, that is it, you know, man. I am... Father God. What is? Well, that is it, you know. I think when I bust off when it is enough. So, congratulations to Wayne Marshall on receiving his order of distinction in the officer class. Big up yourself, big up Master Griffiths, big up um, Taurus Riley, big up all of the people them who win their awards. Them, because we're not going to focus on the public figure, them were popular and all of these things. Big up all of the, the nominees and the awardees, because it's definitely is a high honor to be recognized like this in whichever field that you are contributing to the Jamaican society. So just know a lot of people feel very disconnected from the national honors. They feel like it is for those who have it and who the Prime Minister like and it's just a separate thing over there. And so the mass of the Jamaican public, them, them, them don't know if they are connected to all of this. Over here, so just for the bourgeoisies and them something, yeah, we're not part of it. And so, which is why the public, you know, I say what they want to say right now, but they also are sometimes not very informed about the protocol and that sort of structure that happens in that sort of space. That's my two cents. Well, that's it. But leave a comment down below, sound off more of ear when you think about this whole uh, order of distinction situation with main Marshall, as well as with the bagger artist them are jump out and I say all of that as well. I'd love to hear from you, uh, your thoughts. Okay, don't forget to subscribe as well and take care. Peace out. Woo, woo, woo.